Hello, what's up YouTube? Brony Sweet and I'm tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how I did the color grading for this particular image. So, you know, I posted it on Instagram and most of you are asking me to do a tutorial about how I did the color grading from it looking like let me show you the before. This is the before and this is what I'm going to be achieving in this very tutorial. So stay tuned as we color grade this image. And this image was taken by no photography. I don't know if at all I pronounced it right. And I'm going to link her Instagram link in the description of this video so that you guys can follow or check her out. She's an amazing photographer. So just don't come and I reset everything so that you can start from the very start. So usually before I do color grading on any image, and right now we are in Capture for those that always ask. This is Capture 121 as you can see right here. So those that always ask the software I use, I'm using Capture 121. And for those that would love their interface to look like mine, if I told you have a paid pro version of Capture One, just come and simply come to Window, Workspace and come down to Migration and you'll have the interface looking the way mine is right now. So like I was saying, the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to color grading is far to first of all, correct the lighting and contrast issues on the image. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to take my highlights down just like that. And I'm going to take my whites down. <coughs> so I'm basically trying to get information out of the image and try to correct the lighting issues that may be affecting the image. So. I'm just going to come and add a little bit of black into the image. And in order to add contrast, I'm going to come to my level and I'm going to drag my black in just like that. Up to around four, and that looks okay. And after doing that, I feel like it has added a little bit of shadows within the image. So I'm just going to open up my shadows slightly and also come and open up my exposure just like a little bit and add a little bit of contrast within the image, just like that. So right now I'm done doing the correction of the light and contrast issues within the image. So the next thing is going to be color grading this image. So in order to color grade the image, I'm just going to come and simply right click here and I'm going to come to new field adjustment layer. So at every single color grading I do onto the image is on a way different layer. So if at all I go overboard, I can simply come to the opacity of this color grading layer and I simply reduce on the opacity of the color grading layer in general. So what I tend to do, I'm going, to, after creating this new field adjustment layer, I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to come to where it says skin tone. So come under color editor and just come to skin tone. And if I told you are missing any tool in your capture one, Simply right click anywhere, right here, and just come to add tool. And you can add whichever tool you're missing right on this other tab. So I'm just going to come to skin tone. And when you come to skin tone, you can set we have this eyedropper tool. So I'm just going to left click on the eyedropper tool and select it and zoom into the image. So basically, I want to get a reference point for the skin tone of this model. So I feel like I want the rest of the skin to look like this particular area of the skin <clears throat> so after doing all that you can see i've just sampled that and you can see that it brings for me the range of the colors that fall within the selected area so we have some yellows we have some oranges reds and magentas but in order to see this quite well or better scroll all the way down and you come to view selected color range so make sure you check or tick this and you can see the selected color range is going to be containing all the colors in the image because all these colors are part of the image that we have so just want to reduce the color from the range from affecting the yellows of the image so just want to take it out from the yellows in this photo so i'm just going to come and left click on the yellow slider right here and drag it away from the yellows just like that and you can see when you do this, it gets the effect out from the yellows of the image, just like that. So the next thing is going to be 
matching or evening out the colors in this image. So if at all you want to even out the colors, we are now going to come to our uniformity slider. So we have taken the effect from most of the yellows in the image. So just come and uncheck the view selected color range. And now come to the hue option and simply start hueing just like that. So we are trying to uniform the skin tones of the model. So I'm just going to take it up around, let me see, uh, 16, 70 is good. I'm also going to add or increase on the saturation just like this. And I'm going to 69 looks great. And you can see the skin tone is now tending to look a little bit more uniform. So after doing that, I'm just going to come the saturation right here and I'm going to desaturate it just like that. I'm going to take around the saturation. So our trans right here, we are good to go. And you can say skin tone is now looking even more nicer and is a little bit a uniform. So I'm just going to come to the lightness and also take down the lightness of the you image know, just up around negative three looks great. And I'm going to come to the hue and I'm going to simply take it up towards my greens just a little bit. Right there, we are good to go. So we are now done evening out the skin of the model. So anything you're going to do, you're going to come to our basic colors and you're going to play around with these colors under the basic. So basically, we just want to play around with the oranges and the yellows of this image. So we're just going to come and we are going to play around first of all with the oranges in this image. So I'm just going to come the saturation of the oranges and simply desaturate it. That looks okay. And I'm also going to take down the lightness of my oranges. <coughs> Up to that looks okay to me. And I'm also going to come to my yellows again. And I'm going to decipher because I feel like this is the yellow is a little bit contradicting and taking out the attention from the model. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to take down the saturation from my yellows just like that. And that looks okay. And I'm going to take down the lightness even more. And that looks great. So you can see we're now getting to the look that I had for this specific image. So we are now done playing around with the basic colors, but in order to get this better, we are going to come to the color balance and simply come and add a little bit of science within the shadow area. So you can come and take this towards the shadow area, just like that, towards the science, and you can see it affects the overall image. So in order to reduce on the intensity of this color, I'm just going to come and I take this down and as you can see, the wheel is going back towards the center, meaning it's basically reducing on the intensity of this specific color in the image. So you can see right now we have done color grading the image. And let's see the overall before and after for the color grading. So this is the before and this is the after before and the after. So if I told you feel like the intensity is too much, you can come and take down the overall opacity. For the color grading and if at all you feel like you have altered or changed the original color in the makeup patterns or if at all you just want to get back the color within the makeup just come to your eraser tool and you can simply hit m on the keyboard to get the mask and use Control command plus on the keyboard and to get back the original color of the lipstick of the model just come and using the eraser tool with your color grading layer selected you can come and erase the color grading from affecting, for example, the lipstick of the model. So if I told you don't want to change or alter the original makeup of the model, you can just use this technique and that is going to get it done for you. So we are done eliminating it and now you can just come and hit M to get back the image the way it is meant to B. And you can see we are done color grading this very image. So let's see the overall before and after. So this is the image initially 
before, after, before, after, before, and after. So basically, this is how I did the calculation for this email. And if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you know subscribe this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing trails. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.